All right, I'm going to show you guys first the easy way, and then I'll show you the more difficult way. All right. So to start this off, we've got a negative 8q. And well, since we can't have that leading term to be negative, we're going to factor out a negative. So a negative 8q. Oh, that's not a good q. There we go. Uh, this would be, uh, well, 8 splits up into 2 and 2 and 2. So negative, I'm sorry, negative 1 times 2 times 2 times 2 times q. Um, now, don't get me wrong on this, all right? So 64, we can split this up into 8 and 8, which splits up into 2 and 2 and 2. It's a lot of 2s. And this one also, 2, 2, and 2. But the problem with that 64 is it's, well, it's positive. So I need a negative 1 and, well, a negative 1. I need a common factor that's negative because this one has a negative and I have to pull it out. So I need some other negatives that are common. See how, see how easy that is? All right, then I'm going to multiply a bunch of 2s. Six specifically, that's a lot of twos, but no Q's. Now when I find my greatest common factor, I've got a negative one that's common, and then, well, three of these negative, uh, positive twos, rather. So times two, times two, times two. And that would be negative eight. So we've got, the expression will be negative eight, and what's left over from the red, a Q, and what's left over from the purple? I got a negative 1 times 2 times 2 times 2. That would be a negative 8. <laughs> so if that, if that is a requirement on the homework, here's what I would do. All right? I would factor out. So this is, this is 8Q plus 64. What I would do is just make that negative and then just change the signs. And then factor those two. So, okay, well, maybe I had those backwards, my bad. Um, this one is an 8Q, and this one's 8 and 8. So, I mean, there's an 8 in common. So negative 8, and then we got a Q minus 8, which is what we got before.